Hey guys, this is Red and today I have a new comment tutorial for you. So as you saw from the title of this video, today I'm going to show you how to make working balloons in Vanilla Minecraft just like the ones that you see behind me. So as you can see, they fluctuate because they are helium balloons and they move around. So let's get started. Okay, so now since I want to show you how to actually create them, I'm going to delete everything. And it didn't delete the armor stands. Uh, well, I'll be right back. Okay, guys, done. So what you'll need is a fence post and a lead. And then you'll also need these command blocks in here. So make sure to place a fence wherever you want in your world. Uh, let's imagine that you have a swimming pool. You can place it near the swimming pool and have some balloons. And then make sure that you have this lead ready in your inventory. So the first thing you have to do, you have to take this first command block that you'll find in the video description. There's a link, go click it and you'll be forwarded to my webpage where you can find all the commands that I have used in this video. So make sure to copy the first command that you see on the website. You paste it in a command block place the command block down and then activate it. What it did, it created an invisible ship that you can see if you are in game mode 3, but let's go back in game mode 1. And what you have to do, you right click with the lid on the ship and then attach it to the fence post. Now you have to do this multiple times, it all depends by how many balloons you want to have on the same post. So let's say that we want 5 balloons for example. What you have to do, you have to place back this command block in here, but this time you have to change at the beginning of the command the name of the ship. So instead of ship 1, you change it in ship 2, activate the command block and then you do the same process. So this is the second ship and you do this for as many times as you want, all depending on how many balloons you want to have. For the third balloon you write ship 3, attach it to the fence post and then continue. And then this is the last ship that I can attach. So as you can see here, all the ships are attached. Now what we have to do, we have to create the actual balloons that we can then teleport to these ships. Now if you want, you can still have some colored ships that are floating in the air. So what I did, I gave to these ships some invisibility effects and then what I will do, I will teleport some armor stands wearing colored wools to these ships. So again, we have to create some armor stands wearing some colored wools on their heads. So what you have to do, you copy the second command that you'll find in the, in the website, place it down and then activate it. What we did now, as you can see, we created an armor stand that, that is wearing an orange wool on its head. What we want to do now, we want to create other armor stands that now are wearing different colored wools. So how do we do that? You have again to change the name of the armor stand. Instead of color one, you write color two. And also you'll have to go at the end of this command and when you see here wool comma damage colon one you'll have to change this number with another number to see the id of the different colored wools what you have to do you can press f3 plus h to show the advanced tooltips and then if you search for wool in the creative inventory let's see that we want to create a yellow wool you see that it has a damage value of four so instead of one here we write four then activate the command block boom and it created a yellow wool then let's create a red wool which has a damage value of 14 and then also change the name of the armor stand with color 3 activate it boom and we should have all the different colored wools now the only last thing that we have to do we have to activate this line of command block here that will make everything look realistic and will make everything work so let's activate it and as you can see now the helium balloons are going up but they are held by these leads at a certain point and as you can see they are floating in the air it looks like the wind is moving them and each balloon of course corresponds to a ship how does everything work well i'm going to show you how all the commands behave how they work and how to do it what you have to do now you have to create a line of command blocks exactly like mine so if you want you can pause the video build it make it look exactly the same as mine and then you can come back okay done uh, make sure that the first command block is set on repeat, unconditional and always active and all the other ones are set on chain, unconditional and always active. So, the first command block in here, all it does, it gives a levitation effect to the invisible ships. So it makes them fly in the air. And at a certain point they stop going up because they are tied to the fence post. Then the second command block, it teleports the armor stand named color1 to the ship named ship1. So remember that at the beginning of the, of the video when we created the various ships, we gave to all of them a different name to each one. So the armor stand named color1 will be teleported to the ship named ship1, ship1. The, the armor stand named color2 will be teleported to the ship named ship2 and so on. And that is it, that is a really simple concept. If you want to add more than 5 balloons, all you'll have to do is taking again this command block, in, the first command block in here, or actually I have it in my inventory, then name it ship6. Create it, so activate the command, boom, boom. 
tie it to the um, to the fence post so it doesn't go up in, in infinitely and what you have to do you have to create another armor stand let's give it a data value of a damage value of three and named it color color six then activate it boom boom okay we have a light blue colored wool then we have to copy this command block in here but instead of color five we have to write color six and we want to teleport it to the ship named ship six so as you can see now we have an additional balloon tied to our fence post of course you can create more of these fence posts uh, around your world but make sure that you give to each of the ships and each of the armor stands a different name so you can continue adding a number in here for example have color 7 color 8 color 9 if you did a mistake you want to remove a balloon all you have to do you can type in chat this command slash kill at a um, then in, inside the square brackets you write its name so name equals ship one boom so as you can see we killed the, the ship name ship one ship one and then name color one boom and we deleted the orange balloon okay guys so that was it about this really easy tutorial but really nice thing it's a really nice concept you can decorate your world let's say that you want to make a theme park you can add these balloons around the world and they look really nice and colorful uh, i hope that you guys liked this video if you did so please leave a like and subscribe to the channel if you're new uh, until my next video, I wish you all a nice week and I'll see you all guys later. Bye!